Well, it's not windy, so this seems like a good time to do a garden video. Um, things have kind of settled down here since it's been so hot. Well, not hot last few days, but it's been dry, and this garden has kind of um, settled down here for a while. Um, I did pick some lima beans today off the trellis here, and they're coming along okay, although they didn't really come up very thick, especially towards this end. For some reason so they don't look like much but they are producing quite a bit um, all these bush beans kind of took a break um, after producing so much earlier they kind of took a break when it got hot so they're starting to put on some blooms again and they'll they'll come on with kind of a second wind here pretty soon um, these here were the black turtle beans so they're they're done and gone and I'm going to come in here and plant some uh, probably some cabbage plants pretty soon just in here amongst them after I pull up the last of these weeds um, there's some volunteer watermelons here so there's there's a decent sized one there there's a few others out in there um, the sweet corn is basically done I didn't eat a whole lot of ears off of it um, it seemed like it I don't know if I maybe planted a little too thick um, should have thinned it out a little more or what, but there were quite a few plants that just didn't make anything, um, like these small ones here. And the chickens are kind of working on it now, going through and, and just picking at the low the low hanging ears, so that's fine. I'm just letting them have it. So that's about it for this one. Okay, so this is the garden that actually has the most going on. Um, I got all this weeded last week, so it looks a lot different. Um, weeded and kind of dealt with the Japanese beetles because they were really thick on this on this borage here, and you can tell they really worked over these beans. Um, I forget which kind of beans these are. Some kind of soup bean. It's sort of strange because there's beans right here next to each other and the beetles worked over one and didn't touch the other ones. So there must be certain varieties they like and certain ones they don't like. Um, but just kind of got a little bit of a little bit of this and that up through here. Um, the zinnias look a lot better now that I dug them out of the out of the weeds. Got some pepper plants here. Um, I forget what kind of these are. Uh, broccoli. They're looking good. Got some beets here. Got some lettuce that's going to seed. So, probably just pull it up and put something else there. Um, this is kale. I don't really know what to do with kale. I'm told it's supposed to be good for you. And Swiss chard. And I've started planting some late stuff. Like this is um, this is black-eyed peas here that I just planted a few days ago. This is yellow beans. They're actually producing quite a bit right now. I get out, need to get out here and pick those. And then over here I've got a bunch of cabbage and cauliflower. And a few other things. This is celery. That right there is a fennel. Pretty good, pretty good one. And there's some tomato plants over here too. And then this is actually lettuce that's going to seed that I'm going to harvest the seed from once it gets dry, once the seed pods get dry. This is a tomato that got worked over pretty good by tomato worms, but I think I got rid of them all now. So, and this, this is a potato plant that's just about done and ready to be dug up. So, I'll go over and check the last garden now. Okay, this is the garden that was just weeds everywhere. I mowed a lot of them off and then I'm going to put paper down and mulch on top of that. Uh, mulch and uh, bedding out of the chicken house. So. I think I'm just, I don't think I'm going to plant anything else out here this year. I could till this up and plant some late stuff, but I think I'll just put that in the other gardens and just start getting the soil here ready for next year. 
Um, still got a good patch of Swiss chard right here. And then over here along this side, there's tomatoes and uh, peppers. That's kind of a small pepper plant there, but there's some better ones down here. I still got to pull some weeds right here around some things. Um, it's an, this is an ancho pepper, which is supposed to be, I think, a little milder than a jalapeno. Um, somewhere in that range. And then just more, more tomatoes on down here. Um, behind me here, there's this row of onions. I don't know if they're going to amount to much, but I let them go so that I could save some seed back. And then once they're done, I'll just buzz all this off too. And then I can just cover all this and get it mulched for next year. And this is the herb garden. I haven't really, I don't think I've shown this lately, but I had mulched in here with some with some paper and then put uh, grass and stuff on top of it. Chickens have dug around and scratched up some of the paper that I got to pick up. But um, some of the herbs survived, some didn't. I think these big things here are called marshmallow. I don't remember what that's for as far as medicinal herbs go. But this, I think, eh, I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up and check the pictures, but I think that's toothache plant. I think that's where that ended up. And let's see. In the back is fennel. And, you well, know, I thought there was one more thing, but I think it might have gotten scratched up or it might have just not survived the heat. But we've got a few things started. And of course, there's the, the catnip and the, and the mint over by the grotto. So, getting a few herbs established. Um, I don't remember if this is a perennial or an annual, um, but getting a few perennials established and a few things tried out. So, I guess that's it for this time. So, thanks for watching, and I'll be back with another one soon.